So I took a break for a few days and this happens. I mean, like in the last 90 days, there were historic losses when it comes to honeybee colonies. And people all over the internet right now are freaking out on how by the end of this year, there will possibly be 100% loss in honeybee colonies. Find losses the last 12 months, 70 to 100%. That is insane. According to researchers, something real bad is going on. Anybody know what's going on with the ground lately? What is, what is this, a raindrop? And if we lose 80% of our bees every year, the industry cannot survive. Buzzing insects are important when it comes to pollinating almond trees, and this is just one example. So we would have a massive shift in the food industry and an ecological collapse in some way. But the question is, why is this happening? Because apparently scientists don't know what's going on. And while deep diving into this topic, I found out that it may have something to do with metal pollution, LED lights, and how this possibly connects with the strange fog that we had in the beginning of the year. All this fog has been here for about five days now. And it <laughs> I got a So it's crazy foggy right now. And with a lot of people, well, reporting, feeling strange about it. There's no reason for it. I mean, it's January. It smells weird. I don't know, man. I thought it was all hype, but now I'm a little freaked out myself, honestly. And like the taste of the air. So let me get this straight. Thousands and thousands of people are reporting falling after being exposed to this abnormal fog that some say smells like chemicals. So let's deep dive into this and let's begin with the basic. And that would be a very good explanation from one of the most popular beekeepers on Instagram. That's what over a million dollars in dead honeybee colonies looks like. And this. And this. Absolutely devastating. In the last 90 days, the United States has seen historic losses of honeybee colonies. We gotta check if this is true. Okay, so March 25th. March 25th from Echo Watch. Scientists warn of severe honeybee losses in 2025 when honeybee colonies in the US could decline up to 70% this year. Here we see over the last eight months, 1.12 million beehives, 68% of all the bees in the United States are dead. And then right below that, the 12 month total estimate is over 80% of all bees lost. Hopefully this works. The ABF and the AHPA teamed up to send a letter to the Secretary of Agriculture, which wild fact in here, combined losses for the last 12 months, 70 to 100%. That is insane. But anyways, it's written to the Secretary of Agriculture, hopefully to shed light on the fact that this is literally historic losses and to demand some aid and relief and funding to bounce back from this. But wait a minute, why is this happening? There has to be a really good reason. This can't be just a random thing. So Juliana Rancho thinks it has something to do with weather patterns. This guy over here says it might have something to do with microplastic. And this is mostly because insects have a very different respiratory system. They have this network of tiny tubes that transport oxygen from the air to the cells inside the insect. And well, microplastics, they're all over. They found microplastics in human for the very first time. May lodge in organs. And it's not like 5% of people or 10% of people. It's found in 80% of the people that they tested. And plastic production is set to double by 2040. So that kind of sounds like it could be the case with bees and insects in general. But is there any other explanation? Anybody know what's going on with the ground lately? Like... So on February 23rd, Adam Wagner posted this very strange video where he catches this bizarre phenomenon in his backyard. And this was a couple of weeks after the fog had happened all over the world. 
So I'm pretty sure that this is not a normal thing and it's not supposed to happen, but Daniel Cruz gave a very interesting explanation. He says that while snow itself is not flammable, one possible explanation involves the presence of flammable gases such as methane trapped beneath the snow in certain areas, especially those with organic rich soils. So this is one possible explanation, but while researching the topic, I found more videos suggesting that there's possibly something mixing with the rain and the snow. Now this is just a theory and this is one of the videos that I'm talking about. What is what is this? This it's like a, a raindrop, but it's like frozen, but it's like rubbery. It's so weird. And it's all over the glass it's all over the glass here. All over the grass. It's like let me see if I can focus in on it. It's like it's all in here. See that? See that right there? That's the same stuff. It's everywhere, but it's like melted, but it's rubbery. It leaves a trail. Look at that, it leaves a trail of water like it's melting. On January 27th, Dr. Naomi Wolf posted this. It rained in LA and residents are reporting pilots that don't behave like normal sleet, snow or hail. And this is one of the pictures. There's also this very recent post by Colin Waters on April 1st. Never seen anything like this. It's like snow, hail, raining. What is this? Let's take a look at his video. Wow. That's really weird. And this is a picture of this snow hail. Now, I've never seen anything like that, so apparently there's something weird going on with the rain and the snow, but, but this video that we just watched of this phenomenon in this snow kind of reminds me of something that started happening in the beginning of January. I finally found it again after like three weeks. Listen to this, I don't know if you can hear it or not, it's pretty windy. So this was recorded four days ago by Derek Debbie, who at the end of January started recording really strange videos of these bizarre sounds coming from underneath his backyard amidst the drones and the fog situation. Was, this is for instance one of his first videos. I have no idea what's going on, but listen to this. something under the ground and it sounds like it's about to bust out Holy it's over here in the field they don't know what it is but at the time people thought it could be a tunnel boring machine some kind of pipeline Others said it could be a high pressure gas line. And there's also some who think that these could be secret tunnels that someone's building underground. Now at some point he did rent this machine over here to start digging around his backyard to try to find out if there was something to it and he found this. All right guys, I've got about a six foot hole dug here and we've hit rock, but listen to this. He uploaded several videos regarding this strange phenomenon and now it's two miles away from his house and apparently it's getting louder. So no one knows what it is. I'm not sure if this has any relation to this mysterious phenomenon in the snow, but it kind of seems like it could be connected. Now, what does this have to do with the bees going missing? Well, apparently there's this article over here from the Cornucopia Institute and it says, Bees suffer dementia due to metal pollution. 
aluminum contamination may be behind insect decline. So it's not just the bees. We're seeing a decline in most insects and it could have something to do with metal pollution. Hmm. Honeybees respond to increased aluminum exposure in their four aging choice motility and circadian rhythm. Also found this one coming from the same place, the same website, Bumblebee contain high levels of aluminum. And I also found this video posted on March 27th by Kings Bronson. Let's take a look at this. We now know with peer reviewed study that bees are testing with 70 times more aluminum in their system than what it takes to cause Alzheimer's or dementia in a human being. It's a wonder any of them are alive. Aluminum is very abundant in the environment, yes. But it does not exist in the environment in free form. It doesn't exist in free form. It, there will be no hiding this issue much longer. So 70 times more aluminum than there should be in bees. This so I found this other article. This is from 2015. New scientific study has found very high amounts of aluminum contaminant contamination in bees. So this is concerning, but why? Why is this happening? Can be released due to acid rain, industrial activities, mining, and emissions from vehicles or factories through contaminated soils. So we also have pesticides, chemical fertilizers, atmospheric deposits from airborne industrial pollutants. So this is one of the possible explanations on why there's so much aluminum found on bees. But there's also another problem, and it's not just affecting the bees. Y'all seen these blue lights? It's LEDs or something. Over here on my right is what a normal light should look like, right? That's the kind of lighting. But across Phoenix, we are seeing this instead, more purple lights showing up. We're told about 1,200 of these lights started popping up a couple of months ago in the city. That's out of about 100,000 total lights in Phoenix. LED streetlights reduce insect population by 50%. This was in August 2021. Imagine now, after all these years. So let's take a look at this. So wider adoption of these LED streetlights happened in the early 2010s. So this has been happening for quite a while now. It could be the case that this is not helping with insects. But is there more evidence of such a thing, such as articles, videos? What is going on with the LED lights? Coming in from the UK Research and Innovation, eco-friendly LED streetlights are even more harmful for insects populations than the traditional sodium bulbs. Huh. Who would have thought? LED streetlights decimating moth numbers in England and coming in from science advances, street lighting has detrimental impacts on local insect populations. Oh, wait a minute. This kind of reminds me of something. Hmm, the blue light spectrum. Y'all seen these blue lights? It's LEDs or something. Wow. Since 2020, several people have been noticing these purple lights installed all over their cities, mainly in the US. But is this just happening in the US and how much of this are we seeing? Because if it's happening a lot, it could impact the bees and possibly not just the bees. So here's another hospital with the purple lights everywhere. There's a car dealership with regular lights. Harbor Freight Tools. Yeah, it's a malfunction. <clears throat> it's crazy because this hospital is only built within like the last six months. And what do we got? All right, we're here. I came all the way to St. Paul, Minnesota to check out the purple street lamps. There's purple one here. And then down the street, there's another purple one. So here's another normal street lamp. Oh, going into snowbank. There's a purple one. It's a rave. Yeah, this is in Phoenix, February this year. So it's still happening. North Carolina. All right. Now, what the hell is this? 
This is the on-ramp at Perrysville and Interstate 279 or 579, whatever they call it. And that is a purple street light. One of these they're putting in cities all around the country. I don't even want to drive under it. Something is going on because every other light is white. Every other one. But this son of a right over the ramp to get on the interstate. Now, what's going on with this? Houston, Texas, 2022. So from 2020 up until now, these things are happening all over the US. But the question is why? Why are streetlights turning purple and does it have anything to do with the bees? What's going on? Many Calgary streets are turning into this eerie, bluey, purpley color at night because of the street lights. And here's the weird reason why it's happening. Out of 7,000 street lights, 70 are affected by a manufacturer's defect, which causes the premature peeling off of the phosphorus coating on the LED, which is causing these weird colors. 70 out of 7,000 doesn't make any sense. In some videos, we're seeing like entire neighborhoods all overtaken by these lamps. So you're telling me that these purple street lights that people are seeing across the country is because all of these lights are going bad? They're popping up all over the country and nobody's replacing them. Oh, we have to wait. Oh, we're working on it. Yeah, that's the strange part, isn't it? Literally, if you Google purple street lights, there's an article from every major city. Here's the Carolinas. Here's Florida. If you have seen these purple lights, please tell me what you think is really going on because I don't think that they're going bad. It just doesn't make sense mathematically. Okay, so there's loads of streetlights going bad, turning purple, emitting a blue spectrum, which is harmful for the insects. And now we have this major problem with the insects, mainly the bees, but is this just happening in the US? Widespread losses of pollinating insects in Britain 55% decline. Hmm. That's a lot. Many British pollinating insects in decline, study shows. So this is a graphic, interesting. And wildlife experts urge action in pesticides as UK insect population plummet. So 60% decline between 2004 and 2021, which is a really big decline. Also in Australia, so we got a 20% decline between 2006 and 16. And this is a very interesting graphic that shows us what happened. So apparently this is not just in the United States nor the UK, and apparently not just in Australia. This is possibly a worldwide problem. So I guess that it may have something to do with the LED streetlights, but it could be something else. Taking into consideration that bees are suffering dementia due to metal pollution, it could be a number of factors. It could be because of pesticides. It could be because of these LED streetlights. And it could be because of aluminum. So we have a bunch of factors that could be working all together to actually cause this massive decline. And if we don't work this out, it could be a big problem in the near future. What do you think about this? Have you been noticing a decline in insects in your area? And what do you think we should do about this? Leave a comment, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.